Plague Star Bounty was incredible for me, not only because of those rewards, but because I did learn a couple of ideas for my upcoming videos. It let me take a closer look at my Nova and I did release a video about a Boom Nova build just a day ago, and you can check that out later. I have left the link for that build at the end of this video. But for now, let me give you yet another awesome synergy that you will definitely enjoy playing with. Sarpa was one of my most played weapon during the Plague Star event as it makes the Hemocyte fight a lot easier with its armor stripping capability. But, after a couple of tests, it looks like there's more to this gun blade. In fact, it can melt enemies in seconds provided that you have the right tool to make it godly. And, I will provide you all of that. So, let's cut this really long introduction and start to see how amazing this synergy is. So how do you make Sarpa extremely good? Give it some critical chance. Better yet, make it proc red crits. Yeah I know how low the critical chance of Sarpa is, and I also know that some of you best use this weapon for utility and stripping enemy armors with the shattering impact mod but, I'm proposing a new way, and in fact, a better way to make this weapon hit hard. The build I'm proposing is this. It takes advantage of critical mods, attack speed and mods that can help deal slash and bleed damage. Yes I know I'm stupid to put blood rush on this weapon because of its low crit chance but, this is one important mod for my build and I'll explain that later. For now, let's proceed to the next thing you need to make this Sarpo extremely good. The next thing you need is something that can make this gun blade force proc critical hits. And that can be done by the Adaza Kavat. With its unique mod called Cat's Eye, this kitty will give our Sarpa some yellow crits we need for our build. Now, when we pair this with Blood Rush, this will give us the red crits we need for our gun blade. Take note that Blood Rush doesn't give you critical hits while shooting with your gun blade. It only procs when you are hacking and slashing but the thing is, it does stack with your combo counter and, it synergies really well with the cat's eye mod. Which is why you'll see the Sarpa doing some red crits while you are shooting the enemies. Now I know you are worried about using the Adaza Kavat as it's really unreliable in high level content because it just don't last long when taken on those types of missions. It will often be downed by enemies and it will really be a hustle for most players reviving their cat. But not to worry as I got you covered. The best thing you need to do is equip your Adaza Kavat with the Link Health and Link Armor mods. I suggest that you max these two out and then, try it with your Inaros. This Warframe makes your cat extremely tanky depending on how much armor and health you mod your Inaros. When I have this loadout, I usually mod my Inaros this way. It's a pure tank Inaros with over 6k health and his negation swarm augment for even more survivability. With this setup, my Adaza Kavat will gain over 10k health and I don't have to worry about reviving this kitty cat anymore. Also, I did mod my Adaza Kavat with a few survivability kits like the pack leader which basically heal my cat whenever I deal damage with my melee attacks. Now this is my usual mod setup for my Adaza. I have Hunter Command to override the attack pattern of my Adaza, making it attack more often as I usually land some slash damage with my Sarpa build. And of course, I have this sweet mod over here called Sharpened Claws which basically give my cat armor stripping capabilities. Ok, let's get back to my Inaros first. Now I know how reliant this build on chance that the Adaza will cast Cat's Eye which is why I have a backup plan for this build. Now I did get this idea from one member of my community who messaged me and said that I should go take a look at Gun Blades and the Arcane Avenger. So I did, and it works really well with this build. The idea is, Arcane Avenger will be the other source of crits when our cat don't proc the crit chance yet. It's a pretty good option as we know how tanky our Inaros is, that most of the time, we will see Arcane Avenger procs. Now this is not actually needed, but you can also put some melee arcanes on your build like the Arcane Fury. It does work really well with this build, giving us more damage and making our Sarpa shred enemies health faster. So that's how you can build a gun blade Pharaoh, and make your Sarpa powerful. 
Yes I know it's costly, and it has lots of things needed before you can make it great but, the end result is really amazing. Ok, I know you are not totally convinced yet, so let me give a short demo on my gun blade pharaoh. So that's my gun blade pharaoh. I really enjoy this setup while playing Kivo Endless as it just helps our team keep up the life support with the amount of slash damage this synergy gives. This build really shines in survival missions because of the amount of combo it can stack. The longer your combo duration, the more lethal this build is. However, you can also try it in any sort of missions like high level sorties. It's just really that good and I definitely suggest that you try it for yourself. Some people really don't like using gun blades, and some just use it for utility purposes but I do hope that after seeing this video, you will fall in love with your Zarpa. So that's it. Hope that you enjoy watching this video and find it informative. Before leaving, please do me a favor and hit that like button and, for first timers, you can join the grind team by simply clicking that big red subscribe button below. Just remember to turn on notifications to receive daily updates from this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.